guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So Nicki Minaj continues to get snubbed, especially by Billboard. It's so funny that Do We Have a Problem is nowhere on the list for the best songs so far for 2022 um, in the Billboard publications. And the thing is, do we have a problem was one of the most talked about singles released this year. Okay. It debuted at number two on billboard. Um, still the highest debut of the year for a female rapper. Let's talk about that. Um, Megan and Dua Lipa did not debut at number two. Okay. Cardi and Summer Walker didn't. Um, Dolce Cat didn't. So with that being said, I feel like Nicki Minaj deserves her credit. And then on top of that, it was on the charts for 15 weeks. So I don't really understand how Nicki Minaj always continues to get snubbed by Billboard. But this is why they're flopping, okay, when it comes to their war shows. And they will continue to flop as long as they play games in front of Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj's face. I mean, at this rate, it's just getting disrespectful. We already know Do We Have a Problem was one of the most talked about single and most successful single by a female rapper in 2022. So I don't really understand why they keep um, snubbing Nicki Minaj, but I already told y'all that Billboard don't really fuck with Nicki Minaj like that. And they continue to play in her face, okay? But that is fine because we already know that Nicki Minaj had one of the best singles so far of 2022. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Moving on to Cardi B and Doja Cat. Doja Cat continues to surpass Cardi B. Okay. So need to know surpasses Bodak Yellow as the most stream female rap song on Spotify. Okay. Now I'm actually shocked as need to know. I thought it would have been like woman or a different record by Doja Cat, like maybe say so. Um, but congratulations to Doja Cat. She continues to win. And like I said, eventually Doja Cat will officially surpass um, Cardi B, especially if Cardi B takes, you know, her 20 year hiatus. In my opinion, Cardi B might as well retire. OK, if she does not put out an album this year, she might as well just hang it up. OK, because at the end of the day, there's no point of you taking a five to six year break for um, another album. We already know Atlantic probably watching Nicki Minaj's every move, but they need to be watching Doja Cat, okay? Because Doja Cat is coming and she's already basically outshined Cardi B this whole year, no shade. And then on top of that, um, a lot of people feel like Doja Cat is 10 times more talented than Cardi B, okay? No shade. That's what they be saying out there in the streets, not me. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel about that. And if you guys feel like Cardi B should retire and let the rap thing go, um, you know, especially if she's not really dropping music. Moving on to Little Kim. So after Little Kim's terrible performance of Woman at the Out Loud Fest she did a few days ago, um, a lot of fans have been talking about Little Kim and the fact that she has not been able to put out good records in a long time. She hasn't charted since, what, 2001? With that being said, um, you know, a few people were tweeting and one person said that Little Kim has lost her touch in making good records. And the only reason why people even still support Little Kim, and I'm not talking about financially because y'all don't buy her records, but on social media, is because they don't like Nicki Minaj. So let me know how you guys feel about that. I would have to agree. I think that there is a lot of fake support in regards to Little Kim, okay? Um, especially the people that don't like Nicki Minaj. They always run to fake support Little Kim, but they never buy her records. Because Nine did a thousand copies first week. Can we talk about that for a second? Um, and then on top of that... Um, Lil' Kim has still been releasing records and it doesn't even go bubbling under. No shade. What happened to that record she did with Fabio Foreign? Remember that? Remember that record? They performed it and everything. 
Um, so I feel like people only really support Little Kim now because they don't like Nicki. Um, Little Kim is still an icon. She's still a legend. That doesn't take away from what she did for hip hop. But the fact of the matter is she just can't make good music now. No shade. It's like, I don't know what it is with the auto tune, um, the face tune, but everything just looks a hot mess. I think little Kim needs to fire Nick Cannon. He's not helping her. Okay. And then on top of that, a lot of these OGs, they don't really help little Kim either. Where's Diddy? Where's Jay-Z? Where's Swiss Beats? All the people that grew up with Kim, they're nowhere to be found to help her career. Isn't that a shame? Moving on to Saucy Santana. Saucy Santana is up next, okay? You heard it here. He's up next. Um, Lil Nas X better watch out. He's coming for that spot. Um, and he's already been doing his symbolisms. Y'all haven't even been paying attention. But he was posted up with the Masonic checkerboard, okay? Paying homage to the man downstairs, a.k.a. the devil. He got to do his symbolisms too. Now he's on the cover of Team Vogue. He also did a photo shoot for Paper Magazine, okay? He already sold his soul, allegedly. So with that being said, Saucy Santana is up next. Lil Nas X better watch out, okay? Because at the end of the day, no offense to Lil Nas X, but Saucy Santana, um, to me, is lyrically better than Lil Nas X, okay? I think he has a better pen game. I think that his music sounds a little bit better. Um, so I'm here for it. I am Team Saucy Santana. Lil Nas X, move you and your booty hole out the way. Moving on to Megan the Stallion. Okay, Megan the Stallion is the face of Mugler. Congratulations. And that's why she didn't change her outfit from the Billboard Awards and she wore the same outfit um, in her Plan F music video. But this is a smart business move and I'm sure that uh, Megan Thee Stallion has probably gotten paid, okay? One thing Rock Nation is good for is getting Megan Thee Stallion some brand deals. Now, I will say this, though. I feel like, why wasn't Cardi B the face of Mugler? Um, I feel like Cardi B in the past has shown a lot of love to Mugler. Cardi B has shouted Mugler out several times, especially in the Wild Side song. So I just find it weird how, you know, Megan was able to snag that deal. But it feels like Cardi B has shown love to Mugler in the past, okay? Maybe they wanted a black woman to be the face of it, you know, diversity. Maybe, you know, Cardi B turned it down. You never know because she claims that she has 15 jobs, even though all she does is go and set her fold every single day. Um, but with that being said, I don't understand why Mugler would choose um, Megan Thee Stallion over Cardi B. Maybe they never asked Cardi B. That could be possible. But I just feel like Cardi B in the past has shown a lot of love to Mugler. And the fact that Megan Thee Stallion is the face of it, um, I just thought that was kind of odd considering that Megan just started showing love. Like Cardi B in the past for a couple of years now has been showing love to Mugler. Cardi has shouted out Mugler in several records and... And during Paris Fashion Week last year, she went to the Mugler fashion show. You know what I'm saying? Where was Megan Thee Stallion then? So I just feel like, you know, they should have had Cardi B the face of it, you know, because she has always shown them love. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe they rather have Megan Thee Stallion. Maybe they didn't ask Cardi. Um, you never know. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.